Hey y'all, check this out. Just finished building this NE566 oscillator, which puts out a square wave and a triangle wave simultaneously. And uh, I'm using the Mini Brute here as a controller, CV controller out into it. And I've also added a glide circuit here in the end, but I'll show you that in a second. But it uh, works great. <laughs> I get all the octaves. And if I want to add another oscillator, like from the Mini Brute, I can do the... Uh, of course. That works pretty great. And uh, plug the glide. if I want to pitch, pitch it differently. show you the circuit. So here's the circuit a little closer. It's a NE566 chip which outputs square wave and a triangle wave. I don't have the triangle hooked up right now. Um, and <clears throat> previously before it hits that circuit it goes through these two transistors which is a uh, simple 2N3904 and 3906. And this uh, little guy right here, it looks like a resistor, is actually a PTC thermistor uh, 2K, and um, it's needed to uh, keep the tuning stable. And before that is just the uh, glide circuit that I made um, using a just regular old op amp. I think it's a uh, LF356 or something. I can't see it. Um, oh, but this uh, op amp here is uh, an OP7. And the reason I use that 
is I found that it had been the most stable for the tuning. Uh, I tried a few other op amps previously and they just, you know, would kind of crap out on the top and lower octaves. I couldn't get it to really stay in tune when I changed the uh, octaves. But uh, since this is a rail, output rail to rail, it seems like it's perfect for it. Um, and I don't know about these transistors, if that could be upgraded, temperature, maybe temperature compensated transistors, if that's made. This is uh, running off of plus minus 15 volts. The whole thing, each, uh, each op amp is getting plus minus 15 volts. Um, I think it's a uh, minus on this side and plus on that side with ground. Um, but yeah, it works flawlessly as you heard. So, um, not a big deal. Everybody makes an oscillator, but this is one of the first oscillators I created that actually works like you want it to. Um, I've always had issues with analog oscillators. Digital oscillators are easy. You just use an Arduino or something like that nowadays. But um, for this, for a total analog oscillator, this works flawlessly. I couldn't be happier. I picked up three of these chips out of a uh, Lowry organ that someone was throwing away. Uh, that wasn't working, so I just kind of gutted that and harvested chips out of there and got lucky and found some NE566. Not to be confused with 555s, of course, and 556s. Uh, this is a, a special chip. That's a function generator chip, basically. Um, cool. All right, man.